so we're here with our mixer um, and as I've stated we've got a new motor starter for it now this one is from RS components online and this one is just better quality than the one we have got for it let me get that on there so that'll be put here and it replaces this one here now this one's of a quite a low quality and it actually came there's actually broken bits all the terminals are all jiggly and loose um, so I'm not quite too happy with it the plug here is also you can actually see it's all got these wires and they've they've earthed it to a painted surface as well so there's not really going to be much of an earth there but we'll get this off my electrician's here now and we'll get this one on and we're also going to be mounting a, a plug for it like so um, so this just bangs into the wall and this thing starts running we'll be able to wheel this round and reposition it on the farm uh, where we see fit oh there you go that just broke that's why we're replacing this that bit just flew off so we're here with the mixer and we've made a number of modifications we have connected up uh, our our motor starter here, three phase motor starter, which uh, starts the device and we've also modified the grill on top we had to put some uh, extra welding, some extra rebar down there that's so you couldn't uh, accidentally put your dog in there New Zealand has really tough health and safety standards and we wouldn't want an accident happening but after these things are done, it actually works pretty well we've actually had this running now for about 20 minutes uh, and to get this running, all we do is we put two bags of soy in, 50 kilos Two and a half bags of pine pellet, which was well, one tucked in down there, 50 kilos, and then we dump 150 litres of water on top. You can see my water device up there. I have just snatched that from our previous farm, um, just so we have the meter here. Um, it's not actually set up at all, or how it's going to permanently look, but that's just so we don't have to manually weigh our water and add it in. So we do that, we put it all in, and then we turn it on, and it runs. So this is our Digi 10 automatic water meter. Now everyone really needs one of these if you're going to grow mushrooms. It simply measures out your water into your substrate really accurately. We can just select how much water we need by going through. We currently have the quantitative set on 150. And when we hit the run, it starts. You can see it. A little bit just came out here. Where did we get that? So if you don't have one of these and you're growing mushrooms, you really need to get one. I'll throw a link below um, where you can check out one on Amazon. So once we think we've got a good mix, we just get out of the here. We're going to put this under like that. This might not be how we permanent, permanently do it, but it's how we're doing it for now. And we just crank this lever. And out comes our substrate. These containers have wheels, so they're really easy to move. And we have a nice mix of mushroom substrate. Now that is Master's mix made with uh, pine pellets, so softwood, not hardwood, with some gypsum added. Now the reason we have gone for a mix is for a number of reasons. We thought about the auto baggers, but the auto baggers I feel really lock you into a specific mix. You can't add, add other things in there as easily. Whereas this, we want to do a lot of uh, experimentation with substrates. You know, adding maybe a bit of peat in there, maybe five percent peat. Uh, you know calcium carbonate gypsum and we want to be able to add them in easily and get them mixed thoroughly and i just don't think you can do that as well with a bagger just wheel the substrate over this is this isn't how it's permanently going to look we've only been mixing here for a couple of weeks now so it really is the minimum viable product or the minimum setup you can have to start making bags and all we've all done is simply throw a table here we put this on the table we use a big scoop and we just fill our bags like so Here's our bags. we use Satrice bags which are made in China but we find these bags to be highly reliable the plastic on them feels really really thick and they feel very sturdy three big scoops and we're aiming for about 5 to 5.5 kilos 6 kilos so that's good bit chunky but good Today we're mixing up about 250 kilos of wet substrate. It takes about 30 minutes to load and run the mixer. 
and then about 45 minutes to bag and fold. And after we've mixed all our bags, we're simply going to fold them over and today we actually have to load them in my van which is right behind the camera and I need to run them back to our other farm to steam them there. Our lab's still there, our steamer's still there. This week we're hoping to bring the steamer over because we're hoping to complete our lab. We just had the last parts for it arrive today. Oh, here's the fold. That's the pro fold there. Once you get good at bag folding, it's quite amusing seeing a noob try to fold a mushroom bag, right? They're just really terrible at it. If you have to do it a thousand times, you get pretty good at it. So yeah, we just had the last parts for our, uh, our mushroom, for our, our lab here arrive, which is really exciting. So, yeah. Soon, over half the process will be at our new facility here, instead of just the substrate mixing part. So these are the last parts we're waiting to get our lab and incubation room going. These are some doors. Have a, have a look at those. I mean, they're actually upside down if they look a bit weird. So the windows aren't normally on the bottom. But yeah, the only problem we've had is they made a mistake on one. They've actually made mistakes on doors twice this company, so they really dropped the ball. They made this one too short. I wanted my doors really high, so we can roll our racks under them. That's quite a high door on 6'2", and it stands at arm link, arm's length above me. But these doors will go here, you can see down here. So there'll be a door right here into this room. That's the incubation with the heat pump on the wall up there. And there'll be a door here. And this is going to be our lab, good size lab. Just repositioning the lights again. So if you run down, and there's our office here. So here, lab, incubation, office, looking good.